Hello and welcome everybody to another opening here at Cards and Stuff. Today we're opening some more Hidden Fates because I still got the rest of this bad boy to open. We did three in the last video. We're going to do three in this video. I'm going to crack open one of each again. Oh, I'm excited. I love Hidden Fates. You know I love Hidden Fates. I know I love Hidden Fates. Let's just, let's just crack right into it. Let's not even... Let's not even dilly-dally. Let's just go right in. I am a huge fan of Hidden Fates. It is the set that got me back into collecting Pokemon when it came out. I watched some videos on YouTube of some of the better YouTube Pokemon card opening channels. And I saw the crazy pulls and the fact that you get two out of each pack and all the awesome shinies. And I was like, I, I gotta have this set. So I hunted and searched and hunted and searched and they barely had any at the Walmart near my house. And I was driving the, the Walmarts and the Targets all around the area within like, you know, 45 minutes or so. Getting a hold of what I could get a hold of. They're definitely doing this on purpose at this point because every single box we've opened has had one of each. I went to Targets, I went to Walmarts, I went to hobby stores and card shops and nowhere had it. And I literally went to, I live in Rhode Island. I went to Boston, Massachusetts for, for a trip. I stopped at the Targets everywhere in Boston. I could not find Hidden Fates anywhere. I got like one of the pin collection boxes from my Walmart the week it came out and I could find none at any of the places around here. I had ordered it from Toy Wiz pre-order and it took literally six months to get to me from when it was supposed to drop. Oh, nice, steel energy, it's got some print lines. And a gold one. All right. It, yeah, it took six months. I thought about canceling it and said, nah, never mind, I'll just open it when I get it. So, like months later I found tins at Target and I bought like 12 of them. I bought like a whole case's worth. And then there was another time my buddy found tins at a Target up by where his girlfriend lived. Basically on the Massachusetts border. And he grabbed me like four or five of them because he basically cleaned them out. He grabbed like four or five for himself and he grabbed, my, grabbed me like four or five of them. And that was basically all the hidden face that I opened. Then I got my Toy Wiz order six months later. No fault of their own, obviously. It was just, there was no supply because everybody was going crazy over it. So I got my order six months later and opened that. No first pack magic this time, no second pack magic. Hopefully that means we'll get something even cooler. And, uh, yeah, then I got my Toy Wiz order and I opened a bunch of that. And then a few months later, me and my buddy went in on a case. Off, we bought a case off of eBay of 12 tins and we split it. And just from doing that and him helping me, he gave me a bunch of his cards. I paid I paid him for some, some of them. He was just really nice and kind and gave them to me because he wanted to see me complete the set. Uh, we completed probably about 80% of the set just between the two of us. And then I bought the remaining bunch to fill in the gaps and I only stopped because it was expensive and I had to pay money for other things. Nice, nice. Hold Leaf Energy and oh, Star Me GX. The hits keep coming. <laughs> Not the hits we want, but a hit's a hit, right? Still an ultra rare. Still part of the one of the best sets in recent memory. last pack of the first box so then I started this channel and I was like you know what I gotta open up some hidden fates because I love hidden fates I know everyone else loves hidden fates because it's a fantastic set and every time someone has a poll on a YouTube video about favorite sets hidden fates is top of the list I know y'all like hidden fates I know I like hidden fates I said we're gonna open up some hidden fates and here we are and I am excited and I love it. Paris, Psyduck, Charmander, 
Coco's Trap Reverse, and a Clefable. All right, so not a great box. <laughs> not a great start to this video, but you know what? It's never the Charizard box that has the Charizard in it anyway. It's always the Raichu, according to the internet. The Raichu box has the Charizard in it more than any other boxes, according to the zero research I did in just reading people's <laughs> responses. Oh, there goes Blueberry, my fat cat. Alright, Gyarados. Tin. Code. Alright, so let's hope that this one is a little better than the last. Oh, they're not doing it on purpose. We finally got a, a double pack where we didn't get all four of the pack arts. Also, the pack arts in the set are gorgeous too. The shiny Charizard, the shiny Mewtwo, the bird trio. It's fantastic. Pretty sure I have one of each of the pack arts in the book with the Hidden Fates cards so that I have a real complete set. And in the future, I'm definitely going to be opening up one of the Hidden Fates Ultra Premium Collections because I need the Rayquaza and I want to open one even though they're very expensive. Altaria, heck yeah! Coming in with the shinies finally! Shiny Altaria and I saw something behind here. I think it's a full art trainer so Giovanni's Exile. Now this card's not worth a lot of money but it's a fantastic it's just a cool looking card i just i love this card double banger again that's why i love the set you know we, we went one we went what two one box didn't get a hit no big deal one box two hits perfectly centered card no scratches no print lines pretty well centered on the back a little little bitty nick on the corner up there so not 100 percent, but pretty dang close And Giovanni's Exile. It's just it's just an awesome card. And everybody has like five of them that opened up a bunch of Hidden Fates because it's a pretty common, you know, rare card. And but it's just gorgeous, is it? Very, I think it's like is it crooked? I think it's crooked. Eh. I think it's a little bit crooked this way. Kinda doing one of these. Unless it's just my eyes playing tricks on me. Anyway, it's a gorgeous card. Love it. Take it. All day. First pack magic out of that tin. Take it. Take it all day. We'll take all the magic. All the pack magics that we can get. Alright. One, two, three, four. Oh, I just love, I just love this set. Love opening it up. Really got my fingers crossed we can get at least one of the cards that I need from the set during this opening. That's a much that one. But what we really mean is we really want the Charizard. That's what we, we say we want something, but it's really just because we're trying to trick fate into saying, oh, we don't really want the Charizard. We want something else. And then maybe it'll it'll be a little bit of reverse psychology on Fate. And Fate will be like, oh, he didn't want it that bad. We'll give him that one instead. That's what we're trying to do when we say we'll take anything. But really, we want the Charizard. Because who doesn't want the Charizard? Because the Charizard is where it's at. Because Charizard rules the roost, even though there's plenty of awesome Pokemon. No, I mean, I love Charizard, too. Charizard is one of my favorite Pokemon. As is everybody on Earth. We like Pokemon. Oh, Scyther Reverse and Erica's Hospitality. Alright, well the double banger in this box looks like it might be making up for the meh in the rest of this this tin. But I guess we will continue and we will find out later. I'm getting too ahead of myself. Too excited. So you gotta calm down. Deep breath. All right, here we are. The very professional, the very calm, cool, and collected 
Pokemon cards opening at cards and stuff. Nah. We're too excited for that. Voltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Reverse Hollow Energy, and Misty's Water Command Hollow. So it technically hits, but we're not going to count those. Alright, we got one last tin. My man Raichu. By my man, I mean my least favorite of the tins. But he comes in he comes in clutch. The Raichu is the tin that we got the the best pulls out of them in the last video. We gotta respect him. Tins everywhere. Double Charizards. Pretty sick. Open this bad Larry up. So, this is our last tin of the video. First pack of the last tin out of the Raichu. And we're gonna hope that Raichu boy is good to us and that he gives us something good because we haven't gotten a whole lot out of this tin so far so he's got to come in clutch for us electrode and drill team he's not coming in clutch for us so far it's okay it's okay it's all right calm down still got three packs and hidden fates it just takes one just ridiculous pack to, to to just full send you into orbit so we're not going to give up until the last pack is opened and the fat lady has sung because that's how hidden fates rolls any moment any moment hidden fates can come and just punch you in the head with some crazy stuff in these packs Bone, Misty's Determination, and a Lapras. That's not how you say it, it's Lapras. Alright, Raichu, you're, uh, you're letting us down this time. Came in hot last time, coming in pretty cold this time. I'm reasoning with an electric mouse tin. I'm going crazy. Pokemon cards, you got me going nuts. City Gym, Giovanni of Exile, Chris Trap, Caterpie, Pettis, Pecans, Psyduck, Star You. Oh my god. Oh, yes. The chances of pulling one of the cards that I actually needed are so, so small because I need so little of them from this set. And this is one of the cards that I needed to pull from the set. Oh my god. God, we have pulled gold. Not only did we pull something awesome, it is gold. We all love gold. Oh man, it's it's very it looks very well centered. Eh, maybe it's off on this side. It's a little pushed that way. But it's going straight into my collection and it doesn't matter to me if it's a little off center. Corner's looking good, centering's looking good. <sighs> Primo stuff right there. This this is this is what I'm talking about, you know? We're sitting here, we're having a meh day. We got not so much going on in these tins, and then Raichu, Raichu, my boy, coming in hot again with the Tapu Bulu GX gold card. Check that one off the list. Fantastic. Oh, just, I love this. I love this set. It's, it's always a crazy, it's just always crazy to open this, this set because there's always just crazy stuff. You're just pulling hits left and right. You know, I've only opened, what? This video I opened three, last video I opened three. So I opened six tins and I've already gotten two full arts, one of which is a gold. And then a full art trainer in this one, the Giovanni, and like four or five baby shinies. It's, it's absurd. 
Three Bunnies Exile, Lieutenant Search Strategy, last pack. Raichu already came in clutch, so I mean, if he wants to come in extra clutch, bring it on. Voltorb, Geodude. Oh! Oh my goodness! <laughs> What's behind it? Oh, and a pincer, a double banger! A Sil Valley GX. Full. Oh my god, that's insane! <laughs> that's insane! That's out of this one tin, we got a gold card and a full art shiny Sil Valley GX, who again looks like he's pushed off to the side a little bit that way. Maybe that's just the way the cards are printed. There's definitely like a line right here, and there's not a line on this side. But gorgeous. So Valley, not any, not very many people's favorite Pokemon. But he's still gorgeous because Hidden Fates has amazing this the shinies with the sparkles and the the sheen on the cards. They're just they're gorgeous cards. He's looking good on the back too. Just. Ugh, double bangers all day. Love, love Hidden Fates. Let's get the pincer now. Let's see two. Let's just let's just recap real quick because I'm still in shock about how insane that last tin was. I got too many cards in this bin. Pincer GX. The Sil Valley and the Tapu Bulu just bam boom boom boom. Last two packs of the tin, last pack magic. Killing it out here with the Raichu tin. Thanks, buddy boy. Got the Giovanni's Exile, the Altaria. I don't know why I put him over there. The Altaria Baby Shiny. Like, that's that's in that's literally just it, that's insane. We open uh 12 packs, right? Four, eight, nine, yeah, I can math. And we got a baby shiny, a full art trainer, a full art GX, and a full art gold card out of this, out of 12 packs. That's, that's insanity. I just, ugh, Hidden Fates, man. Hidden Fates is uh, an amazing set. It's just fantastic. Um, thank you so much for coming. I had an amazing time. I hope you had an amazing time. Oh, I just, I can't. It's fantastic. I love it. And we still got three more tins to go. So stay tuned if you love Hidden Fates. There's three more tins to come. And if you're interested in buying any of the cards, because I have all the cards except for the Tapu Bulu, so don't be looking for him because he's going straight into my book. But any of the other cards are going to be up on eBay because I already have them all. So thank you for coming. Please tune in next time. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, have a great night. And uh, catch you in the next one.